Hi everyone, my name is Oksana. I came to United States seven years ago from Russia. For all my life, I've been knowing that I'm gonna be living here in the United States. I don't know why, I just had this knowledge. Some of you know me from my online crystal store, Roxy Crystals, and uh, I decided to start my YouTube channel to share um, what I've been through about my spiritual path, about my knowledge that I've been collecting and experiencing them all my life, since childhood, pretty much. And since childhood, I had a question, who am I and why I came here for? I've been studying about religion, about mysticism, and I noticed that you just can't put together all those knowledges, they not match each other. So my question become bigger and bigger and I couldn't find the answer. And most important, I want to be sincere here because we see a lot of perfect people, toxic positivity. And when you look at them, you feel like, oh, I'm suck. Their life is perfect, but my life sucks. But the truth is that they're just hiding. They're not sincere with you, and what most important, they're not sincere with themselves. So I'm here to be sincere, to be vulnerable. And yeah, I have an accent. I've been trying to be perfect and get rid of it. But then I just realized that nobody is perfect, yet everybody is perfect. So all my life I've been seeking for truth of who, who am I, why I came here for. Having this request of knowing who I am, I had a dream and my dream was big. It was too big for my friends, for my parents who told me to be down to earth, have logic, work hard, study hard, go find a job, go to the university, build a career. But for me again, I don't see that that's my purpose in life. That I see a lot of people work hard, yet they, they're still struggling and they're unhappy. So I felt that that's not the case. Yes, you need to work hard, but to follow your dream. And one of my dreams was to live in the United States. When I was a child, I watched the movie about American life, how people live, families, houses, that everybody in the family have a car and have that perfect green grass, how they celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, how school bus are taking kids to school. When I watched those movies as a child, for me it was like a parallel universe like um, something unreal not from this dimension <laughs> because life in russia especially in 90s was not a joke was harsh i would say but when i watch such movies i just see how people can be happy and that made me thinking that yes people can be happy and people meant to be happy and that time i got an answer that one of our purpose here is to be happy so I decided to pursue my happiness so I came here to United States I didn't even dream to live in this wonderful place um, first I came to Miami and for me Miami was oh my gosh it's just a dream city all these buildings all this beauty warm ocean beaches beautiful people everywhere everyone is smiling for me it was like wow is it real maybe i'm dreaming so i, I punch myself i even punch myself right now to make sure i'm not sleeping right now but that's another story for another video so basically all my life i just had the knowledge that i want to get it i want to do it i'm gonna have it how I had no idea, no idea. I just trust the process. I just trust the God, trust the universe. And it came true. It came true. All my wishes that I could dream of, they all came true um, by using just simple technique. And I learned it since I was a child. And as one of our purposes is to be happy, I just want to share my knowledge, my feelings. 
of what we need to do to be happy. And it's not about possession. It's not about having some things like nice house, luxury car. Yes, those things can add to our happiness, but our happiness is the state. It's a default state. And having this default state of happiness, no matter what's happening with us, this state attracts more and more reasons to be happy in life. That's how it works. That's how simple it works. But we are people, we tend to forget about it. We tend to chase the dream and having the mindset that at first I need to achieve this to be happy. I need to go to the vacation to be happy. I need to buy a house and then I will be happy. So we always postpone our happiness. And the most important, we rely our happiness on outside circumstances. But first, happiness burns within our own hearts. So in my channel, I want to share some thoughts, some insights and just be vulnerable. I'm here to be vulnerable, to show my vulnerability and, and for my personal memory. One day I just want to look back and reflect how I was, how I felt, how I spoke. So maybe by that time, when I've been watching this video in 10, 20 years, maybe my English will finally be improved. <laughs> maybe not. We'll see. That's it for this short video, video introduction. Yes, I had some videos on my channel, but this fall, I just feel like I want to reboot. I want to reboot a lot of things in my life. And my YouTube channel is one of those updates. So thank you so much if you watched this video. Please subscribe, share some love. And I just want to remind you as well as remind it to myself that we are all one. We are all connected. And I am you and you are me. Just in different bodies. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye-bye.